Hello everyone, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Well, today is Twyla's Top 10 Day. You may ask, what is Twyla's Top 10? Well, every week I'm going to give you one of my top 10s that I personally did as it relates to my divorce recovery. So today, the first one is starting over. You or someone you may know may be in a situation where you just may have recently divorced, you may be contemplating divorce, or you may have been divorced for a little while, but divorce is tough, rough, and challenging, right, y'all? And you know what? Starting over looks very scary, and it looks very different from everyone, right? And so let's dive right on into what starting over looked like for me. Okay, so after I moved out of my house, four bedroom, two and a half bath, two story home with two minor children, moved in with a friend and her daughter, starting over, I, did, I didn't know what it looked like, <laughs> y'all. I did not know what it looked like. I was scared. I was nervous. Just didn't know which way to turn. But all I do know is that I relied on my faith in God, my creator, my maker, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And for those that know me, for those that follow me, you know I'm a Christian spiritual woman. So that's what I did. I know everybody's not in that same space, but let me talk about it a little bit further. Starting over. First thing is first. Get your plan of action. Get something. Write it down. The Bible says write the vision and make it plain. Write your plan of action down because you have so much going on through your mind. You have so many emotions. You're not possibly going to be able to remember what you have going on in your thoughts. So write it down. Then take that list and prioritize what you need to do first. If you need to get a new job, because divorce does cause a lot of financial distress. If you need to get another job, maybe work two jobs. If you need to cut back on daycare, cut back on expenses, what have you, write it down. So the next thing after you write it down, stick to it. Stick to it, y'all. You got to stick to it. Because what's the sense of writing it down and you don't stick to it, right? So get a new job. If that looks like, if it looks like you going back to school, just write things down, make it plain. And you know what? I was unemployed. So guess what? I had to get a job. I was unemployed, y'all, when I went through my divorce. Wow, wow, wow. So I hope that helps you on today. Twilight's Top 10, starting over. In summary, write it down after you go through a divorce, starting over. Get your plan, get your thoughts on paper. So... That's it for today. Stay tuned for next week, another Twilight's Top 10. Until next week, this is Coach Twyla, the Get Your Happy Back Divorce Coach, and I am out.